Are you proud of what you achieved during the war, even though you were born well after 1945? Do you think that kids have it too easy these days with their phones and video games and nice hot summers? Or are you about 34 and wish you'd been around to cheer on the police during the miners' strike? Then you'll love Great British National Service. Our research shows that kids these days are unhappy, unmoored and always making a racket in the shopping centre. They say they want to tackle the climate crisis, the economic and political systems making them powerless, and the general sense that they have no future. But we all know that what they really need is to forget all that and run around in a field for a bit. What better way to foster national unity than to force our teenagers to do something that helps the rest of us, like lockdown but outside? They'll learn crucial life lessons like why it's still really important to buy newspapers, how to watch Great British News, and when to leave a passive-aggressive comment on nextdoor.com. Who needs immigration when we can get our 16-year-olds to pick fruit and vegetables, repair crumbling schools, help small businesses with export paperwork, run food banks, and clean barges for migrants. With any luck, they'll be so happy and tired from working for free, they won't have the energy to vote. Does this sound complicated and expensive? Don't worry, we'll get the private sector to organise it. They love a big project. And best of all, they're our mates. But how will we pay for it? Well, we could change the pension triple lock to release a bit of money for young people. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> had you going there, didn't I? Uh, we'd never do that, we're not stupid. We know who votes for us. Um, no, we'll just put a tax on them. Playstations or vapes or school meals or something. Great British National Service, because it never would have done you any harm. And if you like this, you'll love our next campaign. Bring back Great British Hanging.